Ella Palin fan told the Boston Herald, she's hot. She's put the hot in hot. <laughs> yes, but she's also put the alas in Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, John McCain was at a rally this week and decided to introduce Joe the plumber to the crowds. Here he is. Joe's with us today. Joe, where are you? Where is Joe? Is Joe here with us today? Joe, I thought you were here today. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you're all Joe the plumber, so all of you stand <laughs> up and say, I thank you. <laughs> I know what it's like, though. What? I think the plumber's coming round. <laughs> Adolf Hitler was recently recreated in doll form by the founder of a well-known London knitting circle. What did the designer call her woolen creation? Adorable Adolf Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Adolf Hitler. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look. <laughs> Put some mascara on a cashew nut. <laughs> well, why is he wearing a lime green wrap? <laughs> and there's also the Dalek doll. <laughs> the knitting, Sorry, it yeah. goes knit eight, pearl eight, exterminate. <laughs> oh, well. To be fair, there aren't many knitting Dalek jokes around. You have to. <laughs> yeah, there are the jokes, but that's yeah. the best one, to be honest. <laughs> I crochet. <laughs> Two. Two. <laughs> the French president, Nicolas Sarkozy, has been immortalised as a doll. Though it's a voodoo doll. Oh, look, they've managed to make him life-size, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Pre-pinned for the lazy voodoo practitioner. <laughs> <laughs> or magnetic pins. If it's a metal thing, don't have to do anything. Yeah. Just introduce the pins to the doll over a distance of 12 feet. <laughs> 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 but wouldn't that reduce the pleasure? I've been a fool. <laughs> I completely, completely withdraw my remarks. So, how has the French president reacted? I just. Uh, he's, he's sued, I think. <laughs> it's not just his image, is it? It's also the bloke off the toilet doors whose image has been nicked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. furious. I'm absolutely <laughs> furious about that whole thing, and so is my wife. <laughs> You can also get a Tom Baker doll on sale for £12.99 uh, or just three Venusian quarks. <laughs> Look, interchangeable heads. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't like your Tom Baker doll, just wait until it turns into a Sylvester McCoy doll. <laughs> then you'll really hate it. <laughs> Think of the doctors as bitching about each other's generation, <laughs> <laughs> do you? Time now for the missing words round, which this week. <laughs> Does it have to be so far away? <laughs> I don't see very well these days, you know. Don't you? No. Did you mention that before the order queue came out? <laughs> <laughs> and yet, oddly enough, you know, Vince, as my sight diminishes, yeah. I get on much better with people. Do you? Now <laughs> that I can't see them. And partly because they're not there. <laughs> yes, as, a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I've just started to fling with my wife. Have you? Mm. <laughs> if she finds out, she'll be furious. <laughs> Time now for the Missing Words round, which this week features as its guest publication, Sheep. <laughs> and we start with, I've given up what, said the Dalai Lama. Sex. <laughs> Did you say fags? Fags. <laughs> 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 Free to bet. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Given up gone. hope, is it? Yeah. Given up hope for Tibet? Yes, I think you're right, yeah. A pope for Tibet. <laughs> No, no. Given up hope. <laughs> Fish <laughs> fingers on Friday. <laughs> Did he say fish fingers on Friday? I don't like. I don't like fish. Can, can we have? Can we have crumble? Can we have apple crumble? Okay. The answer is he's given up on China. Yeah. 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 
The Dalai Lama says he stopped trying to persuade China to give greater rights to Tibet. According to The Independent on Sunday, shortly before the Olympics, Tibet saw the worst violence in 20 years. But wasn't the beach volleyball super? <laughs> All those jaunty buttocks. You <laughs> <laughs> to go to school with a bloke called Jaunty yeah. Buttocks. <laughs> he was from Newcastle. <laughs> jaunty Bucks. <laughs> Next. What can be easily recognised by the long neck, jug head and big ears? Noddy's close friends. <laughs> the Shropshire sheep. Ah! <laughs> you always sound as though you're related to them. <laughs> Is it? It's a breed of sheep. Right. Are we going to go through them all? No! <laughs> I'll tell you, it's yeah. a blue-faced Lester. A blue face? I was at school with a boy called Blue Face. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he had breathing difficulties, yeah, didn't that's he? Yeah. One, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next, visiting aliens handbook rule one. What? Uh, Be careful of Tom Baker. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say take me to your leader to a Lib Dem. <laughs> 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 it's gonna be simple, no stopping. What on earth at what all? What do you mean? No, they do well. They, no, no, they just get off as fast as they can. Do they? Well, they do. Yes. <laughs> According to the Sunday Times, the latest UFO files have been released by the government. Well, I say released. They were left on the nine twenty-seven <laughs> for more than <laughs> <laughs> Next, salty muffins. What? Salty it's... muffins, warm heart. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's about eating coffee and muffins. You can't eat coffee. <laughs> Can you? Yeah. Are things that bad? Are we now that bad that <laughs> coffee's become a solid? Yeah. <laughs> Since we started this recording, money's been abolished. <laughs> Has it? <laughs> it's a barter system out there. Well, I can't understand it. I've got a note here, but it's got Russell Brand's face on it. I mean, what's going on? The answer... It's, it's, it's bad for you. It's a third of your daily intake of salt you have if you have a coffee and a muffin. Oh. That's a lot to fit into that space. <laughs> <laughs> The answer is alert. Yes. Any particular reason why they were alert? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you now. Oh, okay. This is a report from a salt awareness group. <laughs> Warning: <laughs> breakfast muffins are much saltier than some fried breakfasts, and they advise people might be better off choosing a low salt option from a greasy spoon. Oh, that'll be the pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Next, having read and reread Sheep from cover to cover, I have now decided what? Having I mean, reread and reread Sheep from cover to cover, I've now decided <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not bothering in your publication anymore. I realise I've wasted my life. I've spent 15 years living in this bedsit here in Walthamstow, <laughs> getting your magazine once a month, thinking that one day it's going to be good. I turn to the centre fold, it's the same old Sheep. So that I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going to give up that uh, subscription now and I'm going to go to Cows Weekly. <laughs> The answer is, I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> Next, the world's worst boxer. Is it knock self out? <laughs> <laughs> Comes last at Crufts. <laughs> ah! The answer is, yeah. throws in the towel. Oh, well oh, done, yeah, yeah. throws in the towel, yeah. yeah. Good. This is Peter Buckley who is finally retiring after losing a record 256 fights. And finally, what a common cause of variable crimp. Crimp? Yeah, so variable crimp. It's when your crimp suddenly goes a bit variable, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like that, walking down the street like this, and suddenly it's like, hello, hello, there's my crimp gone, my crimp's gone. It's got a bit variable. And if it happens in a sheep, they hate it, because they can't understand. They haven't got brains like us. <laughs> no, the answer is parasites. Bad day. Yeah, yeah. So, the final scores are Ian and Vince have four, and Paul and Chris have five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But before we go, there's just time for the captain.